data is the real gold mine what is actually there with enterprises around the world but there's a real challenge with protecting this data right now in terms of either it is a consumer data privacy and preferences and we have seen that organizations they didn't have a well designed data architecture right and and what it can actually result is that it can it, it can actually end up with siloed systems and that are that are very hard and in, and hard to manage because they are not integrated in a very coordinated way now this this whole concept of unstructured data set has as three things you know one is is volume velocity and variety and securing managing and extracting useful information from these diverse data set is one of the key challenges faced by enterprises furthermore if you look at the current context right you know the the whole pandemic has created a new normal of employees working from anywhere and using any device right now it can be a device given by the enterprise or it can be a foreign device and and all of this has led up to what we call it as an advanced and and sophisticated cyber attack that that has crippled many enterprises so these are some of the challenges what we are hearing from our customers and what is your view of this uh, matt you know is this something uh, similar what you are also hearing um, from your customers too thanks aju well like you said i don't think that there's a day that passes that we don't see some headlines around cyber attacks ransomware is uh like you said the prevalent form of attack uh there are stats out there every 11 seconds now there is a ransomware attack uh 80% of the ransomware attacks are now exfiltrating the data stealing the data uh our customers joint most prized uh, possession which is their data itself or their intellectual property so if you look at ransomware attacks over the past several years there's really been three chapters if you will to that the first has been uh the bad actors coming in and encrypting the data and holding that at ransom the last line of defense in those situations was having a modern uh, backup solution or having a backup solution in place but the bad actors got smarter they realized that the backups were the first point of recovery so they went after those in the second chapter of ransomware and actually destroy the backups themselves as their initial attack point. Uh, but now what we see more and more is that uh it is all about stealing the data in this third chapter of ransomware. It's no longer just can I encrypt the data, but if I actually potentially expose it publicly, that sensitive private information for any organization becomes a massive threat to their environment. So having modern resiliency solutions formed around the data like we're building jointly i think are absolutely critical to every company and every vertical and every industry across the globe right and as a part of our cobalt offerings you know we are trying to uh, bring the best of the breed services and platforms um, towards our customers right you now in terms of helping their journey to cloud as well as helping their journey on cloud uh, most of our customers are actually moving towards a multi cloud world right you know a hybrid multi cloud world and when we and and one of the one of the uh, burning topics you know what they would like to address you know in this space is around the data security right uh, and data resiliency now when i look at these two points right you no know, data security and data resiliency this has been the biggest call out from or i would call it as one of the biggest call out from our customers to us in terms of what is your offering around the space you know within cobalt the customers wants to move towards a world class data security and management solution but they're not keen to invest millions of dollars in setting up the necessary infrastructure you know so which is um which means that they're looking at something which is um, a cloud based solution which is uh, made available to them on tap and that's one of the reasons why we have recently launched data resiliency as a service you know and this is um it's a very comprehensive data resiliency solution that includes the entire life cycle from consulting design implementation and continues with the ongoing management and as a part of that we realized that we have to bring in a partner ecosystem uh, you know which can actually complete our offerings and that's where when we started talking to uh, multiple partners and one of them was um, you know cohesity and we realized that the entire um, 
the solution suit, you know, what Koi City was trying to bring in uh, was one of the best uh, in terms of providing a complete solution on a multi-cloud world and, and also extending this onto the data center as well as edge. So there was no question for us in terms of, you know, and another partner in this case, and that's one of the reasons why we started building this whole construct of, uh, uh, you know, Koi City within our data resiliency solution. The second is, um, you know, from a multi-cloud management, um, anything what you provide, right? You know, we need to have a single pane of glass which can be offered to our customers. While you have a single pane of glass which is being offered from the Koi City uh, part of the solution, we also have a single pane of glass for the, the entire orchestration and management, you know, which we offer through our Infosys Polycloud platform. So as a part of our overall discussions and conversations, we 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 looked at the synergies of of these solutions, right, right from Coicity, and we were able to integrate that easily into the Infosys Polycloud platform and integrate the the whole data resilience as a service and bring it as a part of our Cobalt offerings, you know, in a much faster way. In summary, um, we have combined various data management solutions under this whole data resilience as a service, and we have seen that this is resonating very well with our customers. You know, you hit a really key point, which was that there are multiple solutions around data resiliency or multiple use cases is probably a better way to say it. And there's a full spectrum there. And for most customers, it's going to be an and. It's not any one of those use cases that they need. For example, disaster recovery. You can't just have a disaster recovery solution in place. You have to have data protection. You have to have replicated copies that are going to an offsite or an air gapped uh, environment. So it, it's very much an and. And part of the power of our partnership and leveraging the Cohesity platform is that we've consolidated these use cases into a single platform. And so our joint customers get the benefits of having reduced cost because they don't have multiple solutions to have to manage and procure and keep up to date and so on and so forth, um, as well as reducing the attack surface area. When you think about all the different solutions that are out there in each of those silos, if you have a separate disaster recovery solution from a backup solution, from a um, governance solution for your data, each one of those represents another attack vector for the bad actors to get in. So having those consolidated in one platform means that we can integrate all your policies together. We can do all the access control around that to ensure that you've got a truly cyber resilient infrastructure that gives you the resiliency around your data. And our partnership around your data resiliency as a service brings all of those things together in a really simple, easy to consume offering for, for our customers. So we're really excited about that. We live in a multi-cloud world. That means that every customer is going to have some combination of deployment models and consumption models and different clouds that they're running on, so on and so forth. The key to being able to solve that really, really well for customers is all about the customer experience. Like you said, a single pane of glass, you know, that is not multiple tabs in a web browser. That is truly having an integrated experience the same set of policies, the same reporting capabilities, all those things that you do every day operationally, you wanna be able to do in a consistent way, regardless of where you actually choose to deploy or where your data is actually housed. And that is a core fundamental belief uh, that has led us to build uh, the Cohesity portfolio products the way we have. They are all truly hybrid uh, solutions. Uh, so that that's the first point, and I think that that is truly the the future here is uh, a a hybrid multi-cloud uh, world. The second is that um, it's really all about the data. In the end, being able to extract more value out of the data is really critical, right? Because the more that you have to create copies of that data, you have to move them around, the more risk you're creating around that, and the more cost that's associated with it. Being able to actually bring value to the data itself means doing things like having a marketplace of applications that you can run on a platform. Um, and that, that we do, right? There's a broad ecosystem of different solutions where you can bring some of the enhancements to the data, things like 
uh, malware scanning, virus scanning, vulnerability scanning, reporting capabilities, being able to do that on the data in place. And so that's that's really critical to building out a robust um, data management solution. The, the third is uh, really all about the life cycle of data. Data goes through from its initial creation to its retirement, many stages of being stored and being protected and secured and mobilized to move between different clouds and analyzed. So you can actually get insights to power your business. Being able to do that in an integrated fashion uh, is, is truly next gen. And, you know, that is a core belief that we have as well as being able to integrate multiple of these use cases together creates a next gen data management solution. I could go on and on for a long time talking about future thoughts on data management, but those are the three that uh, that I'd highlight uh, for you. Thanks, thanks, Matt. Um, you know, it has been a pleasure talking to you. I think looking forward for uh, what I call it as our future versions of our solutions or future upgrades of our solutions, what we can jointly bring it into the market. And thank you for your time. Thanks, Sajid. Great to be with you. Thank you. Just bye.